I miss this. I miss this show. I miss this show. Nanatsu no Taizai Season 2. Yeah. It's been three years. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. I wanted to I wanted to do a review on Nanatsu no Taizai. Um, like I said in my uh, update video, I wanted to start a new series all the time where I do, where I do reviews on animes that I mainly have not live reacted to. Like for example, okay, I, I, I reacted to Nanatsu no Taisai season 1, but the reactions were deleted with my old channel. Thanks, copyright. After recording my review last week for the first season for Nanatsu no Taisai, I realized I I realized that it was kind of boring. I don't know, I didn't I always wanted to do reviews and then I was like, "Hmm, this is boring. I don't want to do reviews. I recorded for like 1 hour or something, maybe more than 1 hour. Um and the video at the end was probably going to be 10 minutes or something like that, I don't know. Um, it's not. It was not a review just with the webcam on my face. It was a uh, essay kind of review, but still, just a review. Everybody can write reviews. I thought. I don't know. Okay, everybody can live react too, but most of the live reactions out there are shit, except for mine. No, but <laughs> I don't know. I I thought I, I it was just suddenly a random thought in my head, like. This is boring. What are you doing here? And I recorded for one hour and I started to cut and downloaded stuff. And now it's like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I realize I don't want to do that. I realized I don't want to do that. So I'm here <laughs> without review of Nana Sonatizer season one. It was great. It was great. Okay. I would rate it with seven or eight out of ten. It it had flaws, of course, but it was just a great show, and I I don't know. I, Ban and Elaine. Okay, Ban and King are the best characters in the show. Okay, King is the best developed character in the show, and Ban is just my personal favorite. So I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't care. I couldn't care less for any other character now. Okay, but I hope we get a. We get to see Ban and King because they separated from the main group at the end of season one. The Ban and Elaine flashback from episode nine was one of my, if not the most watched um, scenes of anime. 2015. I have rewatched Ban and Elaine's flashback. I would I would come home from school and first thing was to rewatch Bun and the Lane flashback so I could cry again. It made me more depressive than Yula in April now. The Bun and Elaine flashback was one of the saddest things I've seen my whole whole life. Okay. I would literally come home every day every day and rewatch that flashback and cry again sometimes we watch on my own sometimes rewatch other live reactioners re reaction and i would be like why are you not crying you stupid fuck that was one of the saddest shits i've ever seen in my life mic drop holy shit I don't know, I haven't done a review, but I'm not gonna do reviews. I realized I'm not gonna do reviews, but I'm gonna do something like... At, at the end of my live reactions, I always do kind of reviews where I discuss about the episode. And I thought that maybe I could do these discussions for the shows that I have completed. So it would just be like a discussion style, like this one, or like every video where the last minutes uh, I just talk. But... I decided I don't wanted to do reviews because everyone does reviews. They are kind of boring and repetitive. I talk about the story, I talk about the characters, about the art and animation, and why I liked it, and I don't know. It was something else because it was in the essay format, and I wouldn't show my face and just show clips and essay, and I don't know. But I decided not to do it. I don't know. I write essays every day in school. I don't want... I don't... 
I don't need to write essays at home. I, let's go. What what the fuck am I talking about? Let's go. Ja, let's go. Season two. Let's go. One thing I didn't like about the anime was that they left out a lot of stuff. I mean, they left out the whole Elizabeth rescue arc. I read the manga until chapter 100. So I know the manga for the first season. What the fuck is going on? This is a dream. This is probably a dream, but what the fuck is going on? Oh, this was from the trailer, right? Yeah, Dark Meliodas, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Sharingan! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hyped for the soundtrack too, because... This show has great soundtrack. This show has great soundtrack. F fuck. Yes! Let's go. Oh, we have also have to find the last sin. Yeah, but um, they left out so much stuff in the anime, it's ridiculous. I could do a whole video on everything they left out in season one. And one of the things that bothered me most was... That Kriamor is badass in the manga, but in the anime he's just stupid Kriamor. Yo, how so yo? Handy yo. I miss this. Nanatsu no Taizai Toyonda. Revival of the Demon Clan. Is Meliodas from the Demon Clan? My next question. Is Gopher from the Demon Clan? That's what I really want to know. Gopher couldn't die at the, in the last arc. Gopher just doesn't die. He isn't human, right? Right? I don't know. Gota, what the fuck? That was one of the biggest mysteries of season one, in my opinion. Gotha. Gotha is cool. Dream. <laughs> oh shit, yo. <laughs> huh? Why is he so big again? What the fuck? Why is Hawk big again? I thought he was so with those clothes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Gila x Gotha is a thing. He doesn't have any... Yeah. She's big again. Hmm. 
Merlin is so OP. Bun, where's your no? Yeah. So this is before the last, the end of the last episode, I guess, because at the ending of season one, they split up. So I was probably right. In the last episode, the enemy just, just skipped everything because this all happened before. It takes some time off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh shit. He's gonna find Elaine, yo. Elaine, yo. Pulling out of the seven lessons, but you're coming back, right? Right. Next arc. Next arc. Yo. See so. So these two are leaving. These two. I hope they will be back in one arc. Or maybe they will become a side arc. They will get a side arc. King and Bun arc? King and Bun arc, yes, yo. Jerry show? Was that Jerry? To the fairy forest. Yes, because Elaine gave him a seat, right? And we didn't know what happened after that. There was a seat after the whole bur forest, forest burnt down. Griamorio, Gilvanta, your house, impacto! Okay. Hmm. <laughs> He's nuts. What the fuck? Oh shit. <clears throat> Those three. What the fuck? Dancer. Okay. Fritto. Vairo. Holy shit. They have, but they don't. They can't say it. The fuck? What the fuck? Power level. <laughs> it's 
Jesus, what? <laughs> Hawk, since when can he... Since when can he calculate power levels? It's a little gift from Merlin. What? So he will be the dictionary. The Pokedex. Yo! What the fuck? <laughs> They're bringing in power levels. This is cool. <laughs> so the platinum ranks shouldn't be a problem, but the diamond rank, dude? I don't know. Shouldn't believe him. Oi, oi. Yeah. Platinum, no problem. Even though they are strong, but no problem for seven deadly sins. Okay. Okay. Nani? <laughs> Now they're both dead, yo. Making hard. Dreyfus became good afterwards, right? And Looks like you want. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what was the purpose of this? We already know that Meliodas is OP as fuck. What was, what's, what's, why? Power level. To the point where I don't even understand at all. What the fuck? Built in. <laughs> Gotha is so cool, yo! 
Magic 0. <lacht> oh, <yo. lacht> oh, dann hast du ein higher power level than Goth, ja? Man, ist over 9000, yo! Ah! Over 9000, what the fuck? Du, 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 I like that they bring in power levels, yo. Because we need a little bit more consistency. I don't know. A new science in the form of 10 shadows. Camelot. So we are going to Camelot. Yes. Oh, dream. The end of season one was a dream. Okay. This soundtrack, yo. Anything, yeah, like... You were young, like in your flashback. No, he had the seed. Seed, yo. The soundtrack is so crazy. <laughs> na, 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 na. Please join our crew. Be my nakama, Griamor. How's that? Be my nakama too. Some members of Danro were killed. Danro is important too. They were completely left out in the last arc of the anime. The fuck? Merlin, yo. Merlin, yo, holy shit. How's that impact? Okay. <laughs> Because some prank group. Hauser is stronger than... what? Hauser was 60 points stronger than Gil Thunder. What? What? <laughs> Prank <laughs> Ich 
Covered for us. Handy, oh. Is Hauser older than Gil Thunder? I always thought Gil Thunder was older. But, but how? <clears throat> Room once more, yeah. Ten shadows. It's them. What the fuck? Andy? Dreyfus! Huh? That symbol around your eye? Demon. I thought Andy was dead. Three thousand years. Yo, the ending though. Revival of the te commandments. Is this the ending or opening? I don't know. But sometimes, because sometimes at the end of the first episode they play the opening. Yeah, Down Roar. I don't know if you even know Down Roar, but they were really important in the manga. But in the anime, they were like random guys. That was the guy with the mask and his group. They are pretty strong, actually. I guess stronger than Gil Thunder and the <laughs> prank group. Normally I ask for spoilers in the opening or ending. But I just watched this now, I don't know. Total power level. Over 9000. Wait, 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 we don't want to see that one. Okay, let's talk about Nanatsu no Taizai Season 2, Episode 1. Holy shit, first of all, um, the ending. Was it really an ending or was it the opening? I, d I, I think it was the opening. Um, <laughs> I usually don't watch openings because of the spoilers, but I just watched this one because I thought it was the ending. Um, while watching I realized in the first episode sometimes they just put the opening at the ending because there was no opening <laughs> at the beginning. I don't know, I fucked up, I watched it, but there weren't really spoilers, I guess. I didn't g get anything, so I don't know. <laughs> I hope these... Um, 
I don't know, I like openings like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure where you can watch it. And there are little hints, but there aren't really spoilers. But you only get the hints after you watch the, you complete the series. But anyway, um, I'm not sure where to start. Let's start with the beginning. Uh, Elizabeth's dream where she uh, has seen these ten shadows. I guess it's like a kind of a foreshadowing for the ten commandments who were revived at the end of the episode. Um, I don't know. They seem like they are really, like, really strong and serious enemies. I hope they aren't finished after one arc, like the other enemies, every other enemy we had until now. Um, they seem strong, so I don't know if they will fight at the end of this arc or at the end of the season or I don't, I don't know I don't know but they seem really strong um, one of the things were where I said Nanatsu no Taizai has a lot of flaws too okay it's not the perfect shonen um, is for example some logic flaws like Hendrickson how did he survive how I, I don't know, I'm seriously like, okay, don't spoil me, if it's a spoiler, maybe they will explain it in a flashback afterwards, but how did he survive? Um, Dreyfus survived too, but um, I think he really died and then came back as a demon now, and he is a demon now because we've seen a demon sign on his eye, so I guess it's not Dreyfus anymore, he just borrowed his body maybe. And now it's possessed by a demon. Um, but Handy, I don't know how he managed to survive and then resurrect the demons. Um, yeah, but it, it was said at the end of the last uh, of the last season that the um, demon horn was stolen or something like that. So it, that was probably Handy. So I don't know. But the Ten Commandments seem really hype. Okay. Um, when I saw the trailer, I di I wasn't sure if it was it wasn't something like a parallel universe, like in Fairy Tale, the arc in Fairy Tale, if you can remember. And I thought that this was just a parallel universe where every everything was um, exchanged, or Meliodas was evil, and I don't know, Dark Meliodas, I don't know. But now I'm not sure because the resurrected Dark Meliodas seemed like a different person who knew Mer Meliodas. Maybe it's an old rival. They they seem to know each other because Meliodas was pissed too when he was resurrected. They seem may, probably he's probably an old rival, I would say. I don't know or an old friend, enemy, brother, mother. I don't know, sister. Um. Yeah, that's it about the Ten Commandments. Let's talk about. Let's talk. Let's talk about the power levels, yo. So Hawk is a walking Pokédex now, um, because he can. They, they. I don't. I'm not sure how I feel about the power levels. I'm glad that they decided to do that because now Natsuno Taizai always seemed a little bit inconsistent, if I may say that. I don't know. It always seemed like there were there was. Uh, place left for ass pulls and now they try to do a more consistent thing with the power levels i guess because most of the shonen are most shonen are more consistent like okay it's not something extreme maybe like hunter hunter where, with the nen system where you need f five hours to explain the nen system because it's so, it's so complicated but it's nice to have some consistency so i'm glad we have power levels but I'm afraid that they are only included now because um, the mangaka wanted to hype up the resurrected demons. And now when we are going to see them, their power levels will be over 9000 and we will be like, what the fuck? So, yeah, but it's cool. Power levels um, consist of three different numbers. Magical strength, physical strength and spirit. Was it spirit? I don't know what spirit is. Maybe something like mana. I don't know, but it's cool that Hawk can see them. So he is like a Pokédex now. He will, we will say, "Hey, Hawk, look at this guy," and then he will give us the power levels. I don't know. He's cool. I like Hawk. Um, I like Gotha too. Gotha can also see power levels because he said it was programmed 
or something like that. I don't know. But one of the biggest mysteries, like I said, in season one was Gopher. I don't know what the fuck Gopher is. But he's not human. He can't be human. <sighs> Gopher, yo! So we have a... I don't know if my theory from if my theory from season one is right. Meliodas is a demon, okay. If my season one theory is right, you can't watch it until. <laughs> obviously, you can't watch it now because my old channel is deleted. Um, let's say Meliodas is a demon, so we have a demon in our uh, Nakamas. Bun is undead. Bun, zombie, demon, zombie, fairy, giant, pig, human. What is Gopher? Elizabeth what was the human, by the way. I hope. I don't know. Let's let's not call, count Elizabeth and Hawk. They are not from the Seven Deadly Sins. So in the Seven Deadly Sins, we have a demon, a zombie, <laughs> a fairy, um, giant, Merlin is a mage. I don't know. What is Gopher? Because he didn't die. Like... Why is he? Did he drink from the fountain of youth too? Or I don't know. Why can't he die? He said it was programmed. So what if he is a cyborg or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But it's crazy, and I want to see more of Gopher. Gopher is cool, yo. Gopher, Gopher is cool. Merlin is like I said in season one, OP as fuck. We learn out that she has the most. She is, has the biggest power level. Although the power levels, <laughs> their power levels are included right now, and right from the get go, they are inconsistent because we are told that they can vary um, from situation to situation. So Merlin is the strongest sin, but of course, if Meliodas is pissed or in his demon form, of course he will be the strongest sin. Of course, I was surprised though that. Diane was stronger than Gotha because I thought that Diane was the weakest of the sins, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. let's talk about these uh, three characters, Platinum, Platinum, Diamond. I don't know. Like, what was the what was the meaning behind that scene? Why do you attack the seven deadly sins? Of course, we learn, we learn out and it makes sense that people were doubting the seven deadly sins because they were traitors, like, they were traitors for years. They were known as traitors for years, and now they just appear and save the kingdom. And people maybe don't want to believe that. If, if, if mine, <laughs> I mean, if you haven't seen it with your own eyes, you would have a hard time to believe. You, ha you would have a hard time believing that shit, probably, because you were told all the time that they were traitors and they were evil. So it's understandable that people don't, believe that but I don't know what was the purpose of these three soldiers and they will be important I guess I'm guessing but I think yeah they will be important I don't know let's talk about really no let's talk about the prankster <laughs> let's talk about Gil Thunder first of all is Hauser older than Gil Thunder because in the flashback when they were kids Hauser seemed like the biggest one I don't know I like Hauser, my boy Hauser, I like Gria more. I like Gethander, I like them all. Um, I think they're, they are gonna lead the subplot where we learn out more about the world. Because, um, of course, the Seven Deadly Sins know about everything, they know what happened. Um, but we, as the viewers, we don't know what happened. Okay, we have a lot of, we have a lot to learn. So, I guess that we're that they are going to be the subplot, mm, the trio the, that finds out stuff, you know, the Nico Robin, and then we're going to see everything through their perspective and like uh, find out stuff too that the Seven Deadly Sins already know because they, they've they already experienced everything uh, 10 years before, where everything happened, where the Great Holy Knight was killed. I like them, I don't know. It's nice. We have another trio. King, Ban, the best two characters, and Jericho. What the fuck, Jericho? Um, she was... F I, I don't know if she followed them, but she was watching them. 
So, I don't know. King and Bun. <clears throat> Best characters. Best characters. Best characters. Sorry if I sound unenthusiastic right now. I don't know. Um, it's because it's late and I talk. I have to talk very quietly. But King and Bun. I really like that they separated from the group and I just it's it's like a it's just a bun thing, you know. Bun was always the character that would just do his own stuff. I mean it's cool. It's the fact it's one of the reasons I like him so much is because he has a goal, he has something he desires and he follows it, and he doesn't give a shit about anyone else. So he wants to resurrect or revive Elaine, I don't know. Um, he was given a seed um, when the forest burned down, so I guess he planted it somewhere, and now we have a new fairy forest. Um, I hope, I hope we, I don't know, I just hope we get to see more of Bananakin. I can't, I can't do, I can't make any predictions now because I don't know what. I guess, yeah, there will be a new fairy forest somewhere else, but. Other than that, I don't know what they these two are going to do. Hey, maybe they are gonna meet the Ten Commandments first, but that wouldn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I can't think of anything that Ban somehow knows what he's doing, and he's somehow. I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I could make any wild guesses now, but no, no. That's it. That's everything I get to say. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to Camelot. We're going to Camelot now. Um, yeah. Like I said, I have to talk very quietly because it's so late, but I'm fucking hyped. If every episode was out right now i would watch it. i would binge watch it because i'm hyped holy shit it's been three years yeah attack on titan we waited for attack on titan season two for four years and no not so much as i for three years holy shit like if you did like if you're hyped um discuss with me everything in the comments i don't know i love you bye